Hello students, welcome back. Hope you all are really well. So from this video, we are going to learn only about eutrophication from chapter 12, environmental issues. It's a very short video and also clearly explains about eutrophication and how it actually takes place and what are the processes responsible for eutrophication and how it is affecting the aquatic environment, especially lake and pond. So that's what we are going to learn from this video. Let's proceed. So, before I start, I would like to give you guys a small uh, example how a lake system looks like. So, this picture represents a typical uh, outer view of or the inner view of a lake. Okay. So, the lake can be separated into different zones based on its depth as well as based on the sunlight penetration. So this region from light, uh, this region is known as photic zone. So where sunlight can reach up to this region. And up after from this region, it is known as a photic zone, which means it will be dark. The sunlight, even if it reaches, it won't be that much. That is why in lake and pond, we usually find algal growth on the surface of the water because there this is where sunlight uh, reaches right so the algae can utilize the light and grow in abundant okay so according to the temperature according to the temperature the zo uh, the lake can also be uh, separated into different layers like this so i i hope you all know the idea of the lake system like this is how it looks like in simple so let's see how lake receives nutrients okay so this is the terrestrial environment say for example uh, we have uh, uh, we this is a 3d picture of a uh, lake system okay so consider this is a lake and the surface layer this clear layer is known as photic zone where you get sunlight so how lake will receive nutrients lake and ponds are artificial uh, systems right it is been made by man okay so those lakes and pond when it has been established at first right so the nutrient concentration will be very less so that is why we call them as oligotrophic lake which means it it, it has been established at, uh, uh, freshly which means it has been uh, uh, created by man recently and uh, the water will have less aquatic life which means you will have less organisms or inside the lake so how it receives nutrients so during rainy seasons what happens rainy season all the nutrients in the soils right it will wash away and reach to the lake system through streams and various discharge systems right so slowly as time pours on nutrients will continuously be deposited into the lake okay so this is how oligotrophic lake will turn into mesotrophic lake which means the uh, uh, middle uh, intermediate type which means it has re received maximum number of nutrients so that the organisms as well as aquatic life will continuously grow in abundant okay so this is how a lake system works so let's see what is oligotrophic and mesotrophic in detail and how eutrophication takes place so remember for a uh, lake and pond we get nutrients from the terrestrial environment which means the land area so during rainy season all the nutrients will be washed away with the rain water and reaches to the lake and pond so through that rain water the lake and pond will receive nutrients which has been washed away from the soil okay that is how we get nutrients for the lake and pond water system so let's see more about how eutrophication takes place so i told you how aquatic environment such as uh, lake and pond receives nutrients right i told you during rainy season when the rain water comes whatever nutrients that is available in the soil as well as from the rocks that will be washed away or washed off from the soil and rocks and finally it will reach to the aquatic environment such as lake and pond and that supports the growth of the algae finally you will have different organism will growing in the aquatic environment it is a natural process but in eutrophication what happens 
it is also the same process when runoff from land containing nutrient nutrients reaches water bodies like lakes it results in dense growth of plant life this phenomenon is called eutrophication so you might really be wondering and confused sir uh, you told me that uh, runoff reaches to the aquatic environment then aquatic life will be growing in it but eutrophication is a process when runoff from land which means the runoff or uh, it can be uh, from agricultural uh, runoff or from a uh, different crop lands all this runoff will contain excess amount of nutrients so when that excess amount of nutrient reaches to the uh, lakes or pond they will result in the growth of the algae okay so the algae because the main parameter that is required for the algae to grow is nitrate and phosphate so if the runoff contains too much of nitrate and phosphate it will result in too much of growth of plant life so this is what we call eutrophication okay so let's see what is oligotrophic stage and mesotrophic stage so oligotrophic means when a lake is been freshly made okay so we all know lake and pond are artificially man made aquatic environment which means we just dig and uh, we create a lake and pond near to village or different places okay so it is an artificial environment when you first uh, uh, make this lake what happens it will only have soil and uh, that water will be crystal clear right so during rainy season even if water gets filled up that aquatic environment will have only less nutrients and the water will be very clear so that is what we call oligotrophic stage so when you have less nutrients in this uh, aquatic environment then you have less amount of aquatic life we mean a uh, few algal algal, algal organisms will be growing and few fishes will be growing when we introduced into them okay so this is what we call oligotrophic stage then you have the intermediate stage which is mesotrophic stage so as time goes on okay so you created the lake and uh, it's been ten, more than 10 years since the lake has been artificially created so due to every year we get rain right so every year due to runoff we uh, continuously nutrients will be added into the lake so they will slowly get settled okay in, into the lake so this this happens for hundreds of years and centuries and it is a natural process okay so due to runoff soil and other nutrients will be washed away with that water and finally it reaches to the lake so when it reaches obviously it will get settled down right so this stage is known as mesotrophic so when you have excess amount of nutrients and other uh, important parameter that supports for the organisms then you will have more number of organism being growing in that aquatic environment then finally you have eutrophic stage which means at uh, after certain uh, maybe hundreds of year what happens uh, due to this uh, natural process continuous runoff the soil and other uh, organisms dead matter will get settled down and finally the depth of the lake will be very low so that stage is known as eutrophic stage so it is a very natural process which has been happening but how eutrophication affects and how eutrophication takes place so we know every year land runoff will reach to the aquatic environment okay so let 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 me just give you with an example so i told you eutrophication the definition of eutrophication is what when runoff reaches to the aquatic environment it will enhance the growth of the aquatic plants so this is what we call eutrophication okay it's a natural phenomenon okay so that is why we have natural eutrophication and another cultural eutrophication let's see about natural eutrophication i told you previously every year when a lake has been made at first it will be oligotrophic in nature which means it's very cl crystal clear less nutrients will be there because that has been freshly made and so the less aquatic life will be there as time goes on due to runoff due as we get rain every year so the soil will be uh, continuously de deposited or discharged into the lake every year and this process takes for centuries or hundreds of years okay so so this is what we call natural eutrophication but 
we have cultural or accelerated eutrophication. So remember, this is a natural process. Eutrophication is a natural process. In simple, it just supports the aquatic life due to the runoff, which contains nitrogen and phosphorus when it reaches to the aquatic environment. But cultural or accelerated eutrophication means when we deposit, when we pollute the natural environment. Say, for example, this takes 100 years. But in cultural or accelerated eutrophication, it only takes 10 years or 20 years. Within 20 years, the entire leg will be shallow. How? Because we continuously introduce a lot of pollutants, a lot of soils, and the discharge system, let's say, for example, the streams, the streams is already polluted with a lot of industrial waste and household sewage. All this will reach us to the lake during the rainy season. So that will get uh, deposited, okay? And also one more important thing, that waste that we generate from home as well as from the uh, industry will contain more nitrogen and phosphorus, which is more than enough for the algal organism to grow. So what happens? It will grow in abundance, right? So we are in cultural or accelerated eutrophication due to man-made activity or anthropogenic activity we tend to release more effluent and and uh, and uh, from industries as well as more sewage like that we generate in our house everything will go and settle down and within 10 years or 20 years what happens the sea, the uh, lake becomes very shallow so i told you remember photic zone photic zone means what where light will penetrate, right? So when you dump too much of pollutant, the depth of the lake is being shallow, right? Due to man-made activities, as we continuously release a lot of waste, sediments, effluents, and everything made the lake very shallow, okay? So what happens? The sunlight will reach very soon. So the, bot the lake is very shallow, which means the sunlight can reach up to this bottom and what happens obviously other plants also will grow and also other aquatic uh, 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 the diversity of the uh, aquatic system will be reduced due to the growth of plants okay land uh, plants that can actually grow in the very shallow water and also in addition to that due to the excess nutrients that we add into the aquatic environment it will actually increase the growth of the algae and so if the, if, the, if the growth of the algae is too high and it will stop and uh, prevent the entry of li uh, light as well as dissolved oxygen, so the oxygen level will reduce and the fishes will suffocate and die. And also some even experience toxic due to different algal species. So this is how eutrophication affects the aquatic environment. I hope you all remember what is oligotrophic what is mesotrophic and how uh, natural eutrophication is being accelerated due to the man-made activity that is what we call cultural or accelerated eutrophication. I hope you all remember and understood the topic. I'll see you guys in another video. Take care guys.